Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS Code Whisper. So basically that is being used to build the application faster, more securely, and it is based upon like an AI coding companion. So based upon machine learning and all, it will give you the uh, like suggestions and give you the code, whatever is the required code. So there are other options are also there from the GitHub also there. Um, but uh, this one is more like uh, integration with the IDEs. So I will recommend you to use this one if you want to use this code whisper. So let's move on to, I will just show you how to integrate with the Visual Studio. So I will directly move on to the um, Visual Studio. But before that, let me show you some basic details from the Amazon site itself. So you can see it is free for individual use and unlimited code suggestions it will give you. And reference tracking is also there. 50 security scans also on the code written you can perform. And to check the vulnerabilities and bugs, you can also uh, use this security scans if some uh, uh, credentials or something is being like plain text credentials are being mentioned and all. Like it will give you suggestions and all, like a normal um, code quality like Sonar Cube and all that performs. So here also we can get it 50 security scans per user per month. And it is used for free. And you can see over here, so it is trained for billions of line of code. So it gives you suggestions for snippets also it will give you. So it is basically like, uh, instead of like, writing the coding task and all, so we can all expect those things with the help of this Amazon Code Whisper. So we can code with confidence. You can see it will give you the suggestions. Enhance code security, you can see. Uh, not the setting on a condition. So these kind of suggestions, it will give you like warnings and all, it will give you. So we can use our favorite tools, IntelliJ IDEA, Visual Studio Code. Even you can use the Cloud9 also, PyCharm, Lambda Console, and what are the languages, like support these languages, Java, Python, and all, C Sharp. So I'll be showing you with the Visual Studio Code. So let me start my Visual Studio Code. So the very first thing that you have to do, you have to add the extension for AWS SDK. So you can see in mine is already installed, but I will show you again. You can just go to the, okay. You can just click on the extensions and you can just type it over here. You can see AWS toolkit, this one. So this one, you need to install it first. Uh, this is this is the extension that you have to install it. Just a second. So you can see mine is already installed, including support for Code Whisper, Code Catalyst, Lambda, S3, Watchlist, and many other services. So once you install this, you will get automatically over here. You can see all the options are there. If I uh, click over here, you can see over here security scan, auto suggestions, and all these things are automatically coming. But if you are doing it for the first time, uh, it will give you, like, suppose if I disconnect this one, and you can see you have to create an AWS Builder account. So let me close this all so you can see. You can just resume and whenever you want to pause it, you can pause it. And even uh, there will be, so these are the extensions mentioned over here. So you can click on the edit credentials and you can change it also. You can see editing, source code, this uh, secret key, access key and all. You can change it if you want to change it. Actually, whenever, when the first time when you will do, it will ask you to like uh, 
open the page in a in a new uh, window and it will tell you to enter the credentials for the code builder over here now if you see over here uh, there is some features of or resources you can just have a quick look because i have already added that one and the resources you can check this a short video so once you add that one you can So you can see over here after adding the toolkit. And once you go down, you can see code visual start. So when you click on the start button, it will tell you to use a personal email to sign up and sign into AWS Builder. So basically you have to create an account over there for the first time. When next time onwards, you can authenticate that same account. So this account will be separate than it the normal your aws console account that you're using or you can use the same one but the, you can set up different credentials and all for this particular account so this is must in order to utilize this code whisper okay so so i've already done that one so if i go to this one let me let me open some new file and i have used the python basically so you can add extensions for any other language, C sharp or whatever you want. So I'm just saving it on the desktop. Let's say sample dot py. You can choose any other language, whatever extension you want to use it. Now you can see over here. Let's say I want to have S3 insert so def uh, okay you can see my code whisper is not running so it's not giving me suggestion i need to resume it so s3 you can see it automatically give you the suggestion you can press the tab that's it so this is how it will work now similarly let's say if you want to add some uh, function related to, let's say, addition of two numbers. So this add, you can see, that's it. Let's say you want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, so def Celsius to Fahrenheit, that's it. So this is how you can define different functions, you can define classes and all. The most important, like whatever, like uh, like if you want to perform like um, uh, call the Lambda functions and all, and if you want to perform insert operation, delete operation or anything on the s3 bucket and all so you can just let's say delete s3 underscore okay let, let me type it over here we need to give some suggestions also s3 delete okay you can see it comes automatically no need to worry about anything so that's it so this is how you can utilize this code whisper. It is very handy and it can help you to like complete the whole code within like few seconds. So make it sure this uh, it's not paused over here. If it is paused, you will not get the solutions. Now, if you want to run the security scan, it will scan the file and it is dependencies if anything is there. So I think this Boto3 is there. I need to import Boto3 on the top. Let, let's see what does it give the solution. So you can see over here, Boto3 is not defined. So line three, the rest of the things, rest of the code is 
Okay. So the output, nothing is there. So on the top, you can define over here, import, see, import photo three, and that's it. Uh oh. We, okay, tab. Okay, you can see. So, could not be resolved. There is something, some more issues are there. I need to write it above top of it. Anyways, uh, you got my point, like how we can utilize this uh, in our writing the code and all. So we can run this 50 security scans per user. So make sure you're not running again and again this. So just once you finish up your code in order to check the vulnerabilities or code security and all, you can just run the security check and make it sure this is always enabled. If you pause this one, it will be not giving you suggestions. You need to resume. If it is start, if it is like, suppose if you close the session and the session is closed or you uh, like shut down your PC, you uh, reset the settings or something like that, then it will give you if SDK is installed, it will give you the option to start. When you click on the start, it will tell you to either to uh, sign up to the AWS uh, builder, or if you're already having an account, just log in, type the same code. It will generate one code that you have to copy paste the code and you can start your code with. I hope uh, it was clear. So in the upcoming videos, I will show you some more things. Uh, I'm trying my best to cover up with the cloud formation errors, what kind of errors we get and how to troubleshoot those errors. In the upcoming video, I'll be posting those. So it will be uh, lots of sessions with that cloud formation. So if you have any um, like suggestions or if you want certain videos to be posted or to be created by me, you can just post it in the comments or you can send me an email. So I will try my best to create a really small uh, video covering that topic. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching.